take a photo of an object, the plane of the camera lens is usually parallel to the plane of subject. Therefore, the plane of focus is also parallel to the subject and lens. However, when the light from an object enters the plane of the lens at an angle, only a small region of the object is in focus and the rest of the object is distorted. This effect can be seen when taking a photo of written text at an angle. Only several lines of the page are imaged clearly and this plane is known as the plane of focus. An Austrian army captain, Theodor Schlemflug, was the first person who recognised this optical occurrence. He applied the Schlemflug principles during wartime to correct any distortions captured in aerial photographs. He also developed special cameras for the military using these principles. The Schlemflug principle was incorporated into the Oculus Pentacam to image the anterior segment of the eye. The cornea is aspheric, prolates and aplanates on its anterior surface, making it difficult to capture clear images as the plane of surface is not flat. In the Schlemflug camera, the lens is on a fixed lens plane. A monochromic blue LED light with a wavelength of 475 nanometers is used as a slit illumination system. The light source located along the image plane passes through transparent media in the eye. Measurements taken from a camera along the plane of focus measures differences in brightness. Any difference in brightness indicated any opacities within the anterior segment. Unfortunately, Schlemflug imaging does not image the iridocorneal angle with much clarity as the blue light scatters at the scleral tissue. Consequently, structures at the angle and posterior to the iris are not optimally imaged. Other modalities such as ultrasound biomicroscopy are much better at imaging the iridocorneal angle. As the camera rotates around a 360 degree axis, the standard pentacam measures 25,000 points of true elevation on the corneal surface, whereas the high resolution pentacam can measure 138,000 points. These measured points of elevation are calculated from the Schlemflug intersections. A second camera, the pupil camera, is used to detect any saccadic eye movements. This information from the second camera can then be used to adjust for measurements recorded by the slit 